Hello there, Rana, and welcome to another Thursday, which means it is time for another Lip Watches Karnosuba, specifically the Mega Man season. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, so we're here with chat. Um, say hi. Say hi to YouTube chat. Um, if you want to join us in chat, you can always join us uh, throughout the week at twitch.tv forward slash live the cyber doll for shows that are coming out this season i'm generally watching them the day they come out about an hour before regular stream starts uh so at one o'clock but then we also have our regular streams at two o'clock ish assuming the anime that we don't get stun locked for 30 minutes like we did today um and that's a lot of fun oh boy hopefully get to see you there but also we do our big long anime streams on mondays oh boy so we're here. In the last episode... In the last episode, we saw Megumin's origin. We saw how broke she was. We saw how she spends time with her family. Uh, we saw... And we saw her get into magic school. Shooty, I'm not playing that redeem while I'm recording for YouTube because it blows people's ears out. Remind me later. Or someone refund that. So... Yes. I don't know where we're going to go here. The last episode was mostly just a setup of, like, Megumin and, like, her classmates, as well as, like, the school she's going to. Um, this one is called The Magic Academy's Taboo, which I imagine probably means that, like, yeah, no, there's something wrong with doing explosion magic, or she does something that pisses people off and explains why the village isn't exactly her biggest fan in the movie, but... We'll see, won't we? So let's get in here and let's see what's gonna happen, shall we? In three, two, one, and go. What is it? Was it? Is he selling knives? <laughs> Why are wizards buying knives? Oh no. Oh no, they're not friends. Oh no. Oh no. A knife fight! Oh no, she's stupid! Oh no, she's stupid! Oh my god, she's so fucking smug, I love it. <laughs> god, they're just playing gay chicken, huh? Jesus Christ. Oh. I love Union. I love Union, but I love her because nobody likes her. Is that is that fair to say? Is that fair to say? Like fuck, dude. Like Like she's just that she's just like Oh, she's such a loser. And she just wants to be Megumin's friend, but she doesn't know how to do it, so she's like, ah, I'll be your rival. Like, I feel like Megumin, I feel like, like, Union doesn't understand what the difference between a rival and a friend is. But that might be because there's a full fucking village of goddamn weebs. So when they think rival, they think Sasuke, which is basically just friend that you fight every now and again. 
Uh, actual weebs. Oh, I like how the like the final panning shot is that the vi that's the town from the first season. Hell yeah. Gonna be honest, I kinda like that, like, Megaman's entire backstory is her family's fucking broke. But they're in, but they're, but they're not, but they're not broke for, like, any, like, good reason. They're broke because their dad is a goddamn weave and keeps buying stupid shit. Oh, this is kind of adorable. Not only did she steal Union's lunch, but she didn't eat it. She saved it to bring it home to her to her kid sister. That's fucking hilarious. Oh no, she bit it on the head! Oh no... Oh no, she lobotomized the cat with her teeth. Oh no... I forget what this cat's name is. Like, what, what's its name? Because I know Megaman gave it a name, but I cannot fucking remember what it is. Hmm. Meow. I, I also love, like, the, the... Remember the detail from the movie? Where, the, where it's, like, it's revealed that the reason Megaman is so goddamn fucking scrawny... It's because every time she had a chance for food, she would just give it to her kid sister. Like, goddamn. Girl, girl, active. Yeah, the, the, yeah, you never saw the Konosuba movie? Like. Like, Megumin's entire thing is she wants to be big and tall and voluptuous. And she's, but like, this bitch never eats. Bitch never eats! She just like me for real. She just like me for fucking real. My god. <laughs> Even the cat doesn't like Union, holy shit. Like, like, the, like, even the cat is like, no, fuck off, Union. I don't want anything to do with you. <laughs> oh, no. Oh my god, this is like weeb to weeb communication. <laughs> like, holy shit, I love this. Like, literally, just like, oh my god, like, if you're weeby enough, you can get away with anything here. Like, my god.
It'd be like if I went back when I was in school, like, uh, Liv, you failed this test, uh, this math test, uh, care to explain? You got like a, like a 10%, and I just went like, ugh. Oh, the power of my dark energy roils within me. The chaos cannot be constrained by the logic of math. And they'd be like, understood, 100%. There you go. Sorry, ma'am. Like, like, Jesus Christ. Oh, they're just fucking power leveling. My God. What's the betting this isn't actually anything power leveling? This is just like them, like, just do, like, Standing and like just doing a Dragon Ball fucking like power up scream for like 20 minutes and just saying they leveled up. <laughs> yeah, eye patch girl is friend. Oh my god, they fucking took pity on Union, holy shit. Foolish Union. Foolish Union, you have no friends. <laughs> Koriga netorare da. Let's be honest, they couldn't have said, they, 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 they could have just said, like, NTR in the subtitles. I feel like everyone would have fucking got it. Holy shit. There's no way this shit actually works. Okay, what, what's the betting it's made out of fucking foam? They're all LARP swords! <laughs> They're all LARP swords! <laughs> oh, I'm going to fucking die, Chief! Slay this helpless lizard who has done nothing wrong and can't fight back. Jesus Christ. I feel like these guys aren't even learning magic. They're just learning how to be weebs. Hey, they read the following, Sky and follow, Sky Knight. Of course she's top of the class! Okay, but how are they gonna kill this thing with, like, LARP swords? Unless they're just gonna knock it unconscious or whatever, or just say they killed it and just let it walk away. <laughs> oh, this show is gonna kill me, Chief! <laughs> oh, I love her so much! Alright, Union, kill the rabbit! Oh my god, U Union, come on now. Thing is, Union's got an actual knife. Everyone else is using LARP swords. She's got an actual knife.
die, Chief! <laughs> I think I can see why people don't like Mega Man in the future. Oh my... Oh! Oh, that's an actual problem! And of course everyone's... everyone's scared but Arue, alright. I, I like how, like, the, the, the whole, like, you know, crimson demon, like, weeb shit dropped the moment they were actually in danger for everyone except Arue. I feel like Arue might actually be just disassociating. Like, holy shit. Like, Arue might actually be, like, a true believer of all this, like, weeb bullshit. Okay, now how did that not count as explosion magic? Such a fucking loser, I love him. Oh my god. I just wanna I just wanna just like I just wanna just put him in a crate and just pet his head and then close the crate and tape over it and mail it to Timbuk too. Cause this man is a goddamn creeper. See, this is the kind of character I like. A creeper who has no redeeming qualities, but they're a bumbling fucking moron and suffer for it. And this isn't a like as in like, oh no, they're aspirational, they're good, they're whatever. No, I just like seeing them fucking suck and die. K4 gore. He for gore. Oh, uh, they all just, they all just was like, mm, no, this man don't, this man deserves death. Fuck this boy. Apparently we lost connection at some point. What the fuck? Damn, it's almost as if, like, keeping... <sighs> it's almost as if keeping, like, petrified creatures that, like, could become unpetrified at any moment, like, in a place where they could just, you know, roll up and kill shit. Probably not the best idea. I don't know, man. Of course, of course. Mm -hmm. 
So, for those of you that don't remember or didn't watch the original Konosuba, magic doesn't require, like, all of these speeches to cast. You can cast it with a gesture. These guys are just weebs. These guys are just weebs. Like, gonna be honest, I, I, I respect the bit on that one. I respect the bit on that one, though, because I imagine if I had the power to delete something in one hit, and I had the time to give a five-minute speech before casting it, I fucking would. Because as much as I deny it, I, am, I guess I am also a weeb. He's firing lightning out of the bread. Bread. They're doing more damage to- th there are no more gargoyles! They're just blowing up their own village! Like, I feel like the gargoyles just left because the fucking- they were just blowing up their own village. They're like, oh shit, we don't want to fuck with that. Of course it was a cat girl cafe. Of course it was a cat girl cafe that they ran. Jesus Christ. Minus 10 points, Union. And it's just rebuilt the next day. I mean, you know what? You gotta give... You gotta give the Crimson Demons, like, at least some credit. They're incredibly destructive and incredibly fucking stupid. But they got really good contractors. God. Oh my god! Oh my god, this little doodle thing at the end! Oh, that's adorable! Holy shit! Like, is this how a bunch of weebs would bully each other? It has to be, right? It's like, put a bunch of weebs together and they'll find something to bully another weeb over, right? The weeb hierarchy. <laughs> right, why is the orb on Megaman's staff blue in the... Does Megaman's staff orb turn red at some point in the show? Like, was it originally blue and... You know what? I bet she paints it. I bet she paints it. I would bet money that Megaman just fucking, like, she gets this staff, it's got a blue orb, and she's just like, Ah, yes, my crimson demon blood corrupts this orb, and she just, like, pulls out, like, a paintbrush and just fucking painting it red.
Oh boy. I, th th these ending credits are adorable as shit. I absolutely love them. Oh my god. Big trouble! Oh. Oh, they're just straight up just like, yeah, he's a worthless, creepy neat. <laughs> and wait, isn't he your brother, Mega Man? I never claimed him. <laughs> oh, God. I, I, I love that. I love that so goddamn much. That is that is 10 out of 10. That is a 10 out of 10 right there. It's a 10 out of 10. Oh, God. All right, so that is... That is episode 2, and... Once again, it continues to, to just be more Konosuba, and that's really all I wanted. Um, uh, like, I'm gonna keep it a buck. I do miss, I do miss Kazuma, I miss Darkness, I miss Aqua, I miss Wiz. I miss, like, the, the, the main Konosuba cast. Um, but, I'm gonna be honest, I do really like how just like this is just a full like this is like it seems like this series so far is just like full like hey here's all the weeby bullshit that like megumin got up to in the series but here's like a bunch of other megumins as well you know like like i don't know like it like it was funny in the main show and it's funny here and just the entire the entire show is the funny and i'm very much on board. I mean, Konosuba was, like, all funny as well, but, like, it was all, like, different flavors of funny. But, like, this is good, too. Uh, I'm kind of wondering whether we're gonna get, uh, other spin-off series that are solos for, uh, Darkness and Aqua. That'd be cool. Seeing, like, a, like, a series, like, cause, I don't know, like, like a, like, maybe Aqua when she was, like, a full goddess and not, like, down on the, on the planet or whatever. Or, or darkness, be like, you know, before she, you know, left her family behind and turned into, you know, what she is now. <laughs> like, that'd be funny to see, but also I feel like the darkness one I might pass up on unless they made it more funny than, you know, horny. But, um, yeah, I really like this. The, the, uh... I keep forgetting. Okay, what is Megumin's cat called? What is what is the name of Megumin's cat? Chamusuke. That's his fucking name. So like, like seeing Megumin like get Chom, because we knew kind of sorta like how Chamusuke. Thank you, Shooty. How Chamusuke like came like into Megumin's possession because she kind of like touched on it in the movie, but, like, not by much. Like, it seems like this show so far is very much just like, hey, here's a thing about Mega Man, or here's a thing that was mentioned offhand in the movie. Here's, like, it actually happening. And I... I really like that. That's a lot of fun. I, I think that's really cool. Um... Uh... The different, like, rituals of the Crimson Demons are also just really fun to see just because it's just, like, it's just weeb shit. It, like, it feels just like, hey, what if we just had a village full of weebs? And just went with it. And I, I love that. It's funny. It's great. Um, and I just really love how just Mega Man got to keep Chomsky. Just kind of be like, hey, uh, this is a shard of my soul. Like, you know, just basically just going like full on fucking like anime fanfic character level shit. Like, and the teacher was like, you know what? I'm impressed. Ten points to Mega Man. You get to keep the cat also. Like, that's great. I love that. Um... And also just the recurring joke of, like, the fact that whenever the Crimson Demons get attacked, they're the ones that blow their own village up and destroy it and then blame it on, like, whatever was attacking them. Because <laughs> that happened in the movie, too, I think. I don't remember. It's been a while. It's been, like, two years since then. I wasn't even a VTuber when I watched the movie, but, like, fuck. Um. Oh, God. Oh, it's just a really, really good show. I, I, I like it a lot. Like, I'm... I don't really have much more to say than that. Just kind of like there's a lot of callbacks to stuff. Um, it's really nice seeing the like how like 
the origin of a lot of shit with Megumin. Like, we know that the, the, we, like, we see, like, the, the blossoming of her rivalry with Union, but also their, like, friendship, not that any of them would call it that. Um, like, like, I still want to know, what's the deal with the Rue's eye patch, and how does Megumin get it? How does Megumin get possession of that eye patch? Does Arue die at the end of the series? Does, like, Megumin just, like, win it in a bet? Like, how does that work? And how many trees did Megumin walk into getting used to wearing it? Like, at least one, right? At least one. What's up, Moira? But, yeah, that is... That is all I can really think of right now. I... I like the show. I think it's funny. It doesn't really need to go much deeper than that. It's Kona Um... <laughs> but... Yeah, that's what we're done. So if you're watching on uh, YouTube, this is where you get off. But make sure you like, comment, fair, subscribe, share social media, tell your friends, all that good shit. And if you want, you can always support me on Patreon, uh, stream elements, Twitch subs, YouTube memberships, all that stuff is linked down below. But if you don't want to or can't, then that's fine. Just you being here is enough. Those of you on Twitch, we're going to be playing some Dragon Age Origin for a bit. Sorry, Dragon Age Inquisition for a bit. So, stick around. Oh, boy. Um, yeah. How dare you? <laughs> but, yeah, have a good one, Ronner. Bye-bye.